Module 2, Interpersonal Communication Session 1, Listening and Speaking Effectively Dito na tayo ngayon sa Activity 5, Choosing a Form of Communication, page 20 Objective natin, choose when to communicate verbally, electronically, or in writing Let's go to page 21 Let's read. Basahin mo natin. Nowadays, there are many different ways of communicating. You may choose to write an email, send an instant message, text message, a phone call, or write a formal letter. So marami na tayong uh, form of communication ngayon. Meron ng email, uh, messaging, phone calls, at saka... Uh, formal letter. This activity will help you understand the different types of communication used in the workplace so you can choose the right form depending on your needs. So, marami ng uh, way of communication sa ating trabaho. Okay. So, let's write. Write down some examples of each of the three main ways of communicating at work. So, tatlong klase ang pakikipag-communicate sa work. Number one is verbal. Number two is written. Number three is electronic. So, gumawa lang ako ng sample answer. Halimbawa ng verbal, pakikipag-usap sa cellphone. Written, books, electronic, cellphone. Okay. Pwede ko rin palitan ito, pakikipag-usap sa co-worker. Okay, let's move on to 2.3. Three forms of workplace communication, part 1. Look at the table below and decide whether each form of communication is verbal, written, and electronic or electronic. Place a check on your answer. So, ito yung mga format natin hanggang dito. Ito yung tatlong klaseng form ng communication, verbal, written, electronic, hanggang dito sa kabila. Okay, let's try this. Face-to-face -face conversation. Ang sinagot ko dyan ay verbal, pakikipag-usap. Halimbawa, letter. Ang letter ay isang halimbawa ng written. Sinusulat kasi yung letter Mobile phone ay isang halimbawa ng electronic. So, babasahin nyo ito lahat isa-isa at lalagyan nyo ng check kung ito ba'y verbal, hanggang dito verbal, written, dito, electronic, hanggang dito. So, babasahin natin lahat at sasagutan natin lahat, iti-check natin lahat. Hindi ko na siya sasagutan at ipapaliwanag isa-isa para meron naman kayong activity ng gagawin. Okay. So, let's write. Select what you think are the top 10 most used forms of communication at work and give an example of when you may choose to use it in the workplace. Okay, so uh, mayroon akong example 1 to 5 lang pero pag gumawa kayo dapat 1 to 10 ang gagawin ninyo. Okay, so halimbawa meeting, ang meeting ay verbal. Okay, uh, talk, taking orders. Itong pinili ko na trabaho ay isang uh, service crew ng food chain like McDonald's and Jollibee. Pwede kayo mag-meeting, so ito ay verbal. Uh, taking orders, ito ay verbal din. Pag nag-training, verbal or sometimes electronic. Kasi ngayon, nag-google meet na. Email is written and sometimes electronic. Video call is electronic. So, ito sample lang ito, no? Ang workplace ay, ay isang food chain, McDonald's or Jollibee. Or maraming pang iba. So, depende sa workplace yan. So, let's move on. Remember, once you know what you are trying to communicate, you need to select the best form of communication for your message. The method you choose can make a big difference 
in how effectively you communicate your message. Okay, nasa page 23 na tayo. Page 23. Tandaan daw natin na uh, tayo ay nakikipagtalastasan o nakikipag-communicate. At kailangan nating matukoy kung alin ang form ng communication ang dapat nating gamitin. So, choose verbal message if verbal message ang gagawin natin kung you want immediate feedback. Agad-agad kailangan mo ng sagot. O di ka usapin mo na lang yung uh, co-worker mo. Uh, verbal message kung your message is simple and easy to understand. Kung madali lang naman yung mensa, magtatanong ka lang naman at madali lang sagutin, kausapin mo na lang. Verbal. You don't need a written record of interaction. Kung hindi naman na kailangan isulat yung sasabihin, sabihin na lang verbally. Okay? Isa pa. You can get together easily. Kung magkakasama naman kayo, halimbawa kasama sa bahay, kasama sa trabaho, madali lang, hindi na kailangan mag-google meet pa. Sabihin na kaagad. You want to solve a problem or make a decision. Kung kena kailangan ng mag, uh, mag-solve ng isang problema at gumawa ng decision, verbal na lang yan. Usap-usap na lang. Ito namang isang form of communica- communication is written. Dapat nakasulat. So, you choose written message if you don't need immediate feedback. Pag hindi naman nagmamadali, sige, sulat na lang. Email, email, o yeah, text message. Your message is complex and requires planning. Kapag uh, medyo mahirap ito at nasa formal letter ang datingan, eh kailangan written na siya. You need written record of for your files. Uh, kailangan kailangan ito para maitago yung uh, communication o kaya masino pang communication. So ma, ma ano siya, kailangan written siya. Okay? Your audience is more formal. Kapag formal ang audience mo halimbawa, boss ang kinakausap mo, mas maganda kung written 'yan. You want to avoid miscommunication para mas uh, malinaw at hindi ma-misunderstood. Ano? Kailangan isulat na lang kung ganito kahalaga. Another uh, form of communication po ay electronic. Electronic ang pipiliin mo kung you need quick but not immediate feedback. Madali pero hindi naman agad-agad. So, pwede ring Mamaya, chat tayo, ganyan. So, your message is simple but you're physically separated. Magkakahiwalay kayo at kailangan mag-usap ngayon. Video chat na lang or video call. You need an electronic rec- uh, record. So, kung kailangan mo i-screenshot yung, us- yung usapan ninyo, so kailangan electronic yan. You are geography- geographically, geographically spread out and want to avoid time zone barriers. So, magkakahiwalay talaga kayo ng lugar. Okay? Uh, Google Meet nang kailangan dyan. You want to avoid miscommunication. So, kailangan uh, face-to-face siya, pero camera siya. So, kailangan electronic message. So, yan yung tatlo. Okay? So, let's exercise. Nandito tayo sa page 23 pa rin. Imagine the results for the following scenarios. Write down adjectives to describe the feelings of your colleagues. Pag sinabing colleagues, katrabaho. Okay. Uh, and then, draw their related faces beside the adjectives. Ngayon, meron mga ano dito, mga pangyayari. At yung adjective ay uh, i-explain niya kung ano ang nararamdaman ng kausap. Okay? At yung itsura nung kausap. So, parang pagka-happy yung kausap mo, happy face yung drawing mo. Okay. So, you want to, number one, you want to solve a problem or make a decision. Kailangan gumawa ng problem, ah, isolve ang problem at gumawa ng decision. You sent a long email, long email to your colleague. So, ano kaya ang 
mararamdaman niya. Siyempre, kung mahabang-mahaba yan, disappointed siya or sad. Okay? So, pwede kayong magbase dito sa uh, napag-aralan niyo sa non-verbal communication. Katulad niyan, disappointed. So, parang malungkot yung mukha. E, drawing nyo ngayon, ganyan. So, ano kaya ang mararamdaman? Number two, kayo nang gumawa dito. Ano? Gumawa rin kayo ng sariling sagot sa number one. Your message is simple but you're physically separated. Magkakalayo kayo. You requested a conference call. Ano kaya? Excited kaya siya? Happy kaya siya? Tapos, dito naman, you want immediate feedback. You walk into the office room of your supervisor. Ito naman. Ano naman ang pakiramdam nito? Ano kakausapin niya yung boss niya? Ano kaya yung pakiramdam? Ano kaya itsura niya? You need an electronic record. Ah, kailangan nito Google Meet siguro no. Your you place a sticky note on the desk of your colleague. So, sticky note yung papel na ganito tapos halimbawa lagi mo meeting 9:30 AM. Ano kaya ang pakiramdam nung uh, kausap mo dito? Ano kaya yung expression niya? Happy, sad. Okay. So, move na tayo dito. Let's apply. 2.3 uh, three forms of workplace communication part 3 na no. Instructions. Uh, nasa page 24 tayo. For each type of communication, there are two examples of how and when to use that form of communication. Uh, write three more examples for each form. So, ito, verbal. Andito lahat ang verbal. Hanggang likod yan, verbal ito. Ito naman, written lahat ito. Written communication hanggang dito. Ito naman, electronic hanggang dito. Electronic. So, merong bawat form of communication, meron ng binigay na dalawang example. Dadagdagan natin ng tatlo. Isa, dalawa, sa likod, tatlo. Okay? So, alimbaba, verbal. You can, you call a co-worker to see if they can come help you solve a problem. Tinawag mo si co-worker mo, katrabaho mo, kung matutulungan ka at masolve ang problema. So, yan example ng verbal. Isa pa, you introduce a new intern to co-worker. So, pag pinapakilala mo ang bagong katrabaho, verbal lahat yan. Ito ang example answer ko. Sample lang po, gumawa kayo ng sarili niyong sagot. Kausapin ng manager, magpaturo sa mga co-worker, magsalita sa meeting. Yan. Written naman, written. You write a letter inviting people to an event. Halimbawa, Uh, birthday party. So, my birthday birthday invitation. So, kailangan ng letter o kaya printed. So, ano yan? Written. So, you prepare handouts for a presentation. Kung magpre-present ka at kailangan ng mga classmates mo o kaya ng teacher mo ng handout, uh, mag-print ka. Kailangan written yan. So, ano pa mga example? Sa akin lang po ito, ah, sumagot kayo. Sumulat ng excuse letter, basahin ang mga patakaran sa trabaho, uh, i-check ang schedule sa trabaho. Yan, puro written lahat yan. Electronic naman. You use Skype to ask your coworker a quick question. Dahil gumamit ka ng Skype, electronic yan. You set up a webinar to show the client the work you did for them. Pag webinar, Electronic na yan. Okay. Google Meet, chat, at saka uh, mag-live online. Okay. So, yan ay example ng mga tatlong forms of communication. Kumuha kayo na sarili niyong sagot. Okay. So, dito naman. Session 1, writing. So, use this space to complete any of the written assignments above or write any thoughts and ideas that you have come to mind. On listening and speaking effectively. So, dito pwede nyong ilagay yung mga natutunan ninyo. Unang-una, ito isa example ko lang ha. Gumawa kayo yung sarili nyo. Natutunan ko sa non-verbal communication ang paggamit ng ating facial expression. Ayan o. Oh. Facial expression. Ayan. Tapos, dapat maging mabuting tagapakinig. So, sa listening naman ito. Dapat malinaw ang sa pakikipag-usap. Speaking naman siya. So, dyan po nagtatapos ang Activity 5.